Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to have an introduction to S objects. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video. Now S object represents various Salesforce objects. Now it can be a standard object like account, contact or any custom object that we have created in Salesforce. Now an S object variable represents a row of data. So we can certainly create a variable of this S object type and this variable can represent a specific data. For example, if we created a variable of account object, then that variable can hold a record of account or a row of account. And make sure whenever we are declaring an S object variable, we have to use the API name of that Salesforce object. It is possible as Apex is strongly connected with database. Now Salesforce gives a very good advantage to us that Apex language and Salesforce org are strongly connected to each other. And because of that, we need not to make any connection. We need not to establish any connection whenever we want to communicate between Salesforce and Apex. Now the syntax to create a subject variable is you have to specify the S object type space, the name of the variable equal to new operator and then the constructor and the constructor here will depend on the S object itself. For example, if I want to create a variable for account Salesforce object in Apex, I can write it down like account space name of the variable, for example, ACC equal to new keyword and the constructor, which will be account itself. Salesforce objects fields can be assigned by using dot operator with the S object variable. So if I, my variable name is ACC, then I can use the dot operator over there as ACC dot and the name of the field. Make sure that the field name should also be API name of the field and not the label of the field. For example, if for my account as object variable ACC, I can access name field of the account as ACC dot name and I can assign any value to that specific field. Similarly, I can assign any value to the type field by using acc.type equal to the value of it. Here, I want to tell you that whatsoever you are providing here, whatsoever value you are providing here will remain within the variable itself. This value will not be part of Salesforce until unless we perform some DML operation. Now, what are DML operation and how we perform DML operation is something that we will discuss later down the line. Now the same can be done by providing the field name in the constructor of the S object. For example, if I want to specify the name and type, I can specify name equal to the value of the name, comma, type equal to the value of the type within the constructor of the S object itself. We can specify as many fields as we want, make sure they are separated by comma. Also you need to make sure that correct field name should be used for a specific S object. For example, if that specific field is not existing or if you have used the wrong API name, then definitely it will give you an error. This error will be a syntax error. For example, here I tried to assign education value to a work field of an account object, but account object do not have any standard work field. Neither I have created any custom work field over there. So in that situation, I will get a syntax error that variable does not exist and the name of the variable, which is work over here. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of introduction to S object and let's start and see how we can create an S object and fields in it. So first of all, let's go to the developer console. So to open the developer console, click on the gear icon and click on developer console and on the developer console interface, you can certainly create a new class where you can create any S objects or you can also do the same on the anonymous window. So I'm opening the anonymous window from the debug menu, clicking on open execute anonymous window. And here we can create any S object. 
S objects are all the standard or custom Salesforce objects and to create any S object we need to provide the API name of the object. For example, if I want to create an object of S object account then I have to provide the API name of the account then any name to the object or variable of this S object so for example ACC and this will declare a variable of account S object. Now to take space in memory we need to call new and the constructor of it so new account this will create a variable of account s object now with this variable we can access any specific field of this s object what we need to do is provide the name of the variable dot the name of the field of the s object for example we know there is a name field available in account s object so we can write down acc dot name by using the dot notation and then we can assign any value to this field for example proper salesforce tutorials similarly we can access any other field of account as well now you just need to make sure that you have to provide the field api name and not the field label for example let's go to the account s object and see various fields in it so click on the setup and from the object manager click on account and under fields and relationship section we can see various fields. So right now we have accessed the name field by accessing the API name of it. Similarly, if I want to access the active picklist field, I need to provide the API name of active picklist field. So if instead of API name, if I will use the label like acc.active and there are two possible values to this picklist, which is yes or no. And I mentioned yes to it. And when I will execute this, it will show me an error. It is telling me that this variable active variable is not existing. And the reason for that is I have written the field label, not the field API name. The API name of active field is active underscore underscore C. And if I will execute this, this will execute successfully. Now, once an object is created, you can certainly print that object as well. But in real life, definitely we are going to use this object to perform any kind of DML operation. Later on, we will see how we can perform any DML operation by creating any object. But right now, we are just going to print it on the debug. So we will print ACC variable of account object in the debug. So let's click on execute. You can open the latest log file and check this debug only. And you can clearly see it is showing us the various field names and the corresponding values to those fields of the account s object now another way of creating the same account s object by providing field values is to provide the field name and values in the constructor itself so if you don't want to provide them separately you can definitely provide it in the constructor so to provide the values in the constructor name the field name and the value to it use comma operator and you can provide as many field api names over here as you want and when you are providing field API names in the constructor, you need not to provide them separately using dot notation. Now, if I will execute this, it will give me the similar output that we have received earlier. So let me close this and open the latest log, click on debug only, and you can see I'm getting the similar output. We can even provide the dot notation as well as value in the constructor at the same time. For example, if I want to access the type field, and provide a value to it for example prospect so you can see I have provided values to the name and the active field in the constructor itself and the value to the type field via dot notation now if I'm executing this before that let me click on this open log if I'm executing this definitely I will get three field names with their corresponding values you can clearly see that now always make sure to provide the correct API name of the field if you will provide any field which is not existing in the object, definitely you are going to get the same error variable does not exist. For example, let me provide a work field, some value, let's suppose education. Now we know that there is no work field available in account. So definitely when we will execute it, we will get an error that variable does not exist. The variable name is work. So that's how we basically use an S object in Salesforce. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.